Hi kids, my name is Shay K, and I am so excited you are here today. You're watching Kid Hub Fit, where we talk about all things food and fitness and make it so much fun. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a nutrient that gives us energy. But first, a nutrient is something in food that actually gives our bodies energy. So if you think about it like an apple, when you think of an apple, I might think of, oh, there's green apples, there's red apples, there's apple slices, apple sauce, and even apple juice. But there's so much more to an apple than just the things that we just talked about. There's actually nutrients in that apple that actually give our bodies the ability to play and have fun. And what that is, is it's called carbohydrates. And I know what you're thinking, that is a crazy long word, so don't worry. We're gonna break that word down, carbohydrates, into five silly words. We're gonna mash them all together so you remember how to say carbohydrates. So first, let's talk about a car. So, car, can you guys all pretend like you're driving a car? Right, so we're driving our car. Then the next thing is a bow. This is a little mini bow and arrow, or you might see one that looks like this. Bow. Do you guys all pretend like you have a bow and arrow? So car, bow, and then wave hi. Waving hi to all my friends. Hi, durate, right? So dur, we're gonna start with dur like we're drinking some water, okay? We're gonna go dur. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna say just the first part of drinking like we're gonna drink. And then eight, like we're gonna get our favorite sandwich, like a turkey and cheese sandwich and go eight. Okay, so let's mash all five of those together. Car, bow, hi, dur, eight. Okay, let's say it a little bit faster. Car, bow, Hi, great. Okay, carbohydrate. But what's silly? Carbohydrate, that's such a long word. So sometimes throughout this video, you're gonna hear me call carbohydrates carbs. Because carbs is just another way of saying carbohydrate. Carbohydrates are our body's main source of energy. And they actually have two different types of carbohydrates. There's simple carbohydrates and there are complex carbohydrates. So let's make an analogy. So if we had a puzzle that had, let's say, four pieces to it, I think you could all figure out a simple four-piece puzzle, right? And then maybe you take a more complex puzzle that has a lot more pieces to it. That one's going to take us a lot longer to do, wouldn't you say? Like the four-piece puzzle, we could put that together super quick, we'd be done. But with the complex puzzle, we're gonna take a lot more thought to it. We're gonna, it's gonna take more time. It's gonna be a little more challenging or a little harder to do that puzzle, okay? So this is very similar to carbohydrates. There are simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates. We're gonna talk about both of them and make it super applicable to you so you know the difference, how it makes your body feel, and also how it gives you energy, how it makes you full or not full, and all things that you need to know about carbohydrates. Starting out with simple carbohydrates, let's talk about a bunch of different types of foods that I bet sound familiar to you that are simple carbohydrates, like white rice, white bread, pasta, candy, soda, honey, syrup, pancakes, waffles, cereal, sports drinks, juice, donuts, crackers, bagels, and so much more. There are so many different types of simple carbohydrates. And think about that puzzle again. It's super simple. So think about it. After we eat those foods, our body actually really quickly turns that food into energy. So think of it like a roller coaster. Right after we eat one of those simple carbohydrates by themselves, we get this super big burst of energy. But then what happens after we have that huge spike of energy and we've used that energy up? 
what might happen? Our energy is all gone, so that means there's gonna be a dip in energy right after. Oftentimes we call that a crash of energy, okay? And I don't know about you, but I think it might be better to have more consistent and stable energy instead of having a rise and fall and rise and fall in energy, okay? And so we're gonna talk about things that you can do to prevent a roller coaster of energy happening and instead riding a nice smooth wave of energy. So let's think about it. If we ate those simple carbohydrates all by themselves, we can predict that roller coaster, right? But if we ate them alongside of some other nutritious foods that contain fiber, which we'll talk about, protein, and even fats, that can actually give us more stable energy. So some of the foods that you can eat with your simple carbohydrates can be like chicken, turkey, cheese, dairy like milk or cheese or yogurt, eggs, nuts and seeds, fruits and vegetables, and other things like that that contain good fats and protein and fiber so that we can actually create a more stable energy. Because let's think about it. When we're at the top of a roller coaster, how do you think we feel? We feel really good. We have a super heightened energy. We feel really good. But then how do you feel like we feel at the bottom of the roller coaster? We feel a lot more tired. I know me and my kids, we feel more grumpy and irritable. Sometimes we can feel angry or even emotional. We might feel like crying a little bit more or feel a little frustrated. And two, we can actually have a harder time thinking. And it's really hard to play when we're at the bottom of the roller coaster. And so some things that we can do to get out of that is to have a nutritious meal that of course contains carbohydrates because we know carbohydrates give us energy and are good for our bodies. But we also need to have other foods with it that are nutritious like fats and protein and fiber that are going to help our bodies have more stable energy. And not only just stable energy, but actually foods that help us feel more full. Because remember, when we're thinking about simple carbohydrates, if we were to just have like, for example, just a slice of white bread, do we feel very full after we have just a simple slice of white bread? No, not really. But what about if we had candy just all by itself? Do we feel very full? No. So these are simple carbohydrates, but if we paired it with something else, like a string cheese, that would help. Or maybe like beef jerky or maybe some yogurt. Okay. So if we can pair these simple carbohydrates with other nutritious foods, it can help us feel more full, give us more stable energy. There are four things I want you to remember about simple carbohydrates. First is they give us energy. Next is that when you eat simple carbohydrates by themselves, we can expect a rise in energy and a fall in energy, which remember, we want it to be stable. Next is simple carbohydrates. They don't help us feel as full as other nutrients that we mentioned earlier. And then next, it's best to eat simple carbohydrates with other nutritious foods like protein, fat, and fiber. And your parents can help you with that for sure. Now let's talk about complex carbohydrates. Remember that complex puzzle that we talked about earlier with all of the pieces? When we're eating complex carbohydrates, it takes our bodies a lot longer to turn that food into energy. And so because it takes us a lot longer, we're actually going to see more stable energy. We're gonna feel more full. And we can also anticipate better digestion. Digestion, what is that? That is such a big word. The long story short is it's the process of turning our food into energy. So it starts out, we take a big bite and we chew, we swallow it and it goes into our stomach. And I know a lot of people sometimes they'll call our stomach our tummies or our bellies and inside of our stomach, it mixes with a bunch of special juices that help break down our food to then take it through our body 
and give us energy. It's a crazy process, but that was so simple. Taking our food from food into energy and then all the stuff that we don't need, it just comes out when we go to the bathroom. So that's called digestion. And the reason why we have better digestion with complex carbohydrates is because of fiber. We've talked about fiber a couple of times throughout this video. And fiber are the fibrous, it's like this really, really cool nutrient. Fiber is a type of carbohydrate that actually helps our digestive system work even better. It also slows down our digestion to help us have more stable energy. Also, it helps us feel more full. So there's so many amazing benefits that come from consuming foods that contain fiber. Foods that have fiber in them are like complex carbohydrates, okay? Or a lot of complex carbohydrates contain foods with fiber. And so those could be like foods like whole grains, fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds and legumes, beans, and other types of whole foods. So if you think about it, if we were to just have white bread versus whole wheat bread, white bread is just a simple carbohydrate, whereas our whole wheat bread is a more complex carbohydrate because it has higher protein, it has more fiber in it, and so our body's gonna slowly digest this, whereas it's gonna quickly digest this one, right? Same thing with fruit. Or let's say we have something like fruit juice, or fruit snacks, or maybe just a fruit flavored snack versus having whole fruits. If you think about it, with these ones, we've actually taken out a lot of the fiber and other nutrients, and so they're not gonna help us feel as full, we're not gonna have as stable of energy, right? So we're talking about how these types of carbohydrates help our body feel versus if we have a whole fruit, there's gonna be some good nutrients, there's gonna be a lot of good fiber in there, and also it's just gonna help us feel more full. And so we can see the difference in these foods, and so when you see them on your plate, or when you see them around like at school or at your friend's house and things like that, we can say, hey, I know that one. I know that if I eat that, I'm gonna get a big burst of energy and then maybe a crash, so maybe I should eat it with something else. And we can start to think and also correlate with the way that we think about food with also feeling what it feels like inside of our bodies when we consume different types of foods. And this is what Kid Hub Fit is all about, is helping you guys learn all about fruits and vegetables and foods and nutrition and fitness and help you apply it to your life so you can be happy and have so much fun. So why do we need carbohydrates? Not only does it give us energy, but it also helps kids grow and develop, which is so important. Not only does it help us play better, but it helps us to build better coordination because we have more energy to be able to get stronger. It helps our brains to be able to think better. It helps our bodies to grow. And when we think about complex carbohydrates and simple carbohydrates, they're all carbohydrates that all help our bodies to have energy. But remember, the types of carbohydrates that we eat can give different feelings to our bodies. So we need to be aware of how those foods make us feel so that we can feel our best and have the best energy we can so we can play our best, think our best, so we can be kind, and so we can ultimately be happy. Before we jump into some examples where we can practice, I wanna talk about one last thing just to bring it all together. We learned that different carbohydrates help our bodies feel differently. Choosing more complex carbohydrates can help our body have more stable energy, help us feel more full, and help us have better digestion. Also, consuming carbohydrates in general with other nutritious foods like fats, protein, and fiber can help our body have more stable energy and help us to feel more full and ultimately help us feel the best that we can. Now, let's practice. Let's say we wanted to have some cereal. Do you think it would be best to eat this cereal with a bagel and some orange juice or with some berries and some Greek yogurt? If we think about it, our bagel and orange juice, are those carbohydrates? Yeah, and our cereal is also carbohydrates too. So if we have a meal full of carbohydrates, we can expect the roller coaster, right? So maybe if we chose something like 
our Greek yogurt and our berries, which contain great protein as well as some good fiber. That can help us to feel our best with our stable energy, help us feel more full, right? So the best choice if we wanna have cereal is to eat it with our Greek yogurt and our berries. And before we jump into another example, I want you to think about if you have both of those breakfast options, right? Let's say one day you decided to have the bagel and the orange juice and the cereal, and then the next day you decided to have the Greek yogurt, the berries, and the cereal. Think about if you went to school, if you went to a soccer practice, to a piano lesson, or maybe to a friend's house, how you would feel after you had both of those meals. Next time you have food, I want you to think, how does this help my body? Or what is this, what, what am I feeling inside my body? Because the food that we eat definitely has something to do with the way that we feel. What about if we wanted to have some white bread? Maybe we can have it with some eggs and some cheese, or maybe we have it with some snack pretzels, and maybe a sports drink. Which do you think we're gonna feel better? That's right, we're gonna feel so much better if we have it with the eggs and the cheese because there's really good fats, there's good protein, so it can really help our bodies. And if we wanted to even go the extra mile, instead of having white bread, we could even beef that up and turn it into a complex carbohydrate by having wheat bread instead. Next example is going to be about candy. We're gonna give you three options with this one. We could eat candy by itself, we could eat candy with some crackers, or we could have candy with some beef jerky. Let's think about how we would feel with all of these. Do we feel very full after we have candy by itself? No. What about crackers? Crackers are really, really yummy and they give us energy. We also know that candy and crackers are both carbohydrates. So I think what would be best is to bear, pair the candy with the beef jerky because it has fats and protein in it to help us have stable energy, help us feel more full. You guys are so good at this. I'm so proud of you. Okay, we're ready for our last example. What if we wanted some white rice? Oh, I love white rice. White rice is a simple carbohydrate. Should we have it with some chicken? Or should we have it with some steak? What is that? They're both really good options. You're right, because they both contain amazing protein and they can help us feel more full. That's right. You are so good at this. I'm so impressed. Here's some other ideas that you could have with other types of simple or complex carbohydrates to help you beef up your meal and help you feel even better. You could have it with different types of meats like chicken, fish, steak, turkey, ham, cheese, dairy products like cottage cheese, sliced cheese, shredded cheese, Greek yogurt, eggs, different types of jerky like turkey jerky, pork jerky, beef jerky, nuts and seeds and lentils, and even drinks like milk and chocolate milk. You kids did such a great job learning with me today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Shay K. It was so great to meet you. And you can find more of my videos at Kid Hub Fit, where we have so much fun learning about all things food and fitness. And parents, if you're watching and you want to connect with me, be sure to reach out on social media at Shay Hub Fit. I'll see you soon. Bye.